Good afternoon. My name is Joe Grimes, and I'm the CEO of Tribal Rides. Uh, I want to thank Don Bellagio for inviting me to Money TV this morning and um, addressing some of the questions that we've had from viewers, from people who've responded from press releases, and then from actual Uber drivers that I've taken rides with. Uh, in addition, I'd just like to thank Air, all of Don's viewers for their emails and their support. And um, they seem as anxious as we are to get out our version two of our app. So what I'll just do is I'll just read the questions that I've been provided and try to address in real time. So first question, how can you possibly compete with Uber and Lyft and what makes you different? Great question. There are many things that make travel rides different than Uber and Lyft. Primarily, we consider our drivers extremely important customers and the company is being assembled and the applications are being developed to support them, to support their community, to support repeated riders, to support the connection between riders and drivers. See, at Travel Rides, we don't wanna just create a company we want to create a great company. And that's what myself and our team are working tirelessly to create. Um, when will our, our new app be released? And it will, will work on both iPhones and Android. So version two is coming out in August. It will be available on both iPhone and Android and smart devices. You'll be able to upload it like you would any other app on um, on the Apple Store and with uh, Android. Um, the cost is free. You'll have to uh, apply and put in information so that we know who you are and we can work with you, but there are, there are no fees. How will How easy will it be for me, this is from a driver, to get my riders to sign up on your rider app Right now, it's a pain getting phone numbers and scheduling and payments. So both the rider app and the driver app will have a QR code on it. And it will be as easy as a driver saying, just, just tap onto this QR code for the, for the rider to download the app directly. And vice versa, if a rider finds a driver they like and they're not on Tribal Rides, the rider can just pass that QR code to the driver and the driver then can download it on their phone. And they have an in instant connectivity. Y yesterday I was in a phone, uh, pardon me, I was in a Uber with um, uh, Michelle Ann. And she said, you know, I have a lot of riders who like what I'm doing. They like what I'm driving. They like how clean my car is. And it's really difficult for us to have repeat riders and for them to get a hold of me and for them to schedule a ride. And, Joe, the costs that these large share ride uh, applications charge me make it so that it's very difficult for me to make money on short rides. And I, I thought that was an outstanding question. So with travel rides, with our rides application for both drivers and riders, the fees associated with a ride, significantly less that we charge, significantly less. And once you have that connectivity to a, from a rider to a driver, and there's comfort, uh, a driver will be more apt to give you shorter rides because he knows that it's repeat business, that he may, he may have or she may have a couple of smaller rides, but when you want to travel, you, you, that driver is going to be the driver of choice. And with the flexibility and the ease of our application, a rider will be able to, to book those rides very, very easily with drivers. Um, do you, the, the other issue was, um, with our it, it, phone, getting phone numbers, scheduling and payments are going to be a, are, are a pain. Like I just mentioned, the QR codes will make it seamless and easy and instant for connectivity between drivers and riders, and the costs will promote more frequent um, rides. Do you, do you, does you, meaning travel rides, do we use surge pricing or can I give my repeat customer standard pricings? Yes. So, in our application, we don't use surge pricing. In our application, the driver and the rider can negotiate the appropriate fee associated with a ride 
and develop an ongoing relationship and dependency on each other and, and a confidence that um, the driver and the rider will have a quality ride. And we call that trusted rides. Every so often, a customer leaves a phone or a brush in my car. How do I connect with them and how do I get their stuff back? You know, I've left my iPhone in a in an Uber car before, and I've left it in a, a taxi before, and it's really very difficult to reconnect because you don't have their phone numbers. There's a whole slew of issues associated with it. When you're working with travel rides and you have trusted rides and you have a connection with that driver, very, very simple to contact them, to, to identify what's yours, for have them, have them and you coordinate a, a response and some way of getting those materials, important materials back in a timely fashion. And that says, how do I sign up for the early version of your app? We would love you to. Currently, we have uh, now, I think the count is 938 drivers who have requested our app and we're getting more and more requests every day. Um, it's as simple as signing up on drivers at travelrides.com or if you're a writer, riders at travelrides.com and we'll send you out a notice. We'll provide you the URL. And in August, in a month and a half, two months, you'll be able to download those apps and start using them and have a direct connection with us to help us grow better, enhance the applications and to become a truly great company. Don and, and Money TV viewers, thank you so much for your time and look forward to seeing you again.